I was going through some videos on YouTube and I came across a video of a lady called Samantha J. Boyle. She is a convert to Islam and I watched a couple other videos of her and I came to the conclusion that she became a Muslima for one reason and one reason only. She fell in love with her Muslim friend and she decided to become a Muslima so she can marry her Muslim friend in the future. So she said the Shahada and accepted Islam without any knowledge, without any information about what Islam is. How can you become a Muslim without speaking the language? Right? Because if we go to any Muslim translation, all the translations for the original Quran in Arabic are nothing but lies and deception. And we proved that in previous videos over and over. For example, Sahih International, which is the most often used translation for the Quran in English, written by three women. But we know that Muhammad said that women in Islam are half-brained. So how do Muslims who do not speak Arabic or understand Arabic, how do they put their salvation on the line and trust three women who are half-brained, according to the Prophet of Islam? And how did this lady that you see here in front of you, how did she become a Muslimah without knowing that her Prophet called her half-brained? You are a half-brained, you are deficient in your brains according to the prophet of islam i don't think she knows about this hadith which is a sahih hadith so let us play the clip guys and see, and see and decide for yourself what kind of puppet you are in the hands of allah that allah one day he can decide to remove the deen to remove the faith out of your heart as a muslim you have no free will in Islam. Let us watch the video, guys. And more than anything, I do fear one day becoming a non-Muslim. One day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes Iman from my heart and I am a kafir. I fear that so much. I so she fears that Allah decides to remove the faith in Islam from her heart for some reason Allah can do that and you become a kafir and you will burn in hell which they call Jahannam for eternity burning for eternity because Allah is the one who is deciding for her to become a non-Muslim what kind of sick disgusting religion is this? That Allah is using Muslims like a toy in his hand, playing with their minds, playing with their hearts, bringing them into Islam and removing them out of Islam. Right? And we can also prove this from Islamic sources. Let us go to the Islamic sources to show you that there is no freedom in Islam. There is no free will in Islam for any Muslim. The only person who has a free will in Islam is Satan himself because he was the one who went against Allah, right? Even Adam has no free in Islam. Let us prove it to you. If we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 7515, we can read the following. The Prophet said, Adam and Moses debated with each other. And Moses said to Adam, you are Adam who turned out your offspring from paradise. And Adam said to Moses, You, Moses, whom Allah chose for his message and for his direct talk, yet you blame me for a matter which had been ordained for me even before my creation. So here Adam is saying, Don't blame me for my offsprings to be kicked out, so for mankind to be kicked out of heaven. Don't blame me. Blame Allah. Allah put it on me. 
before my creation. So who should we blame? We should blame Allah for misguiding Adam. Right? Allah is the one who made Adam sin because he misguided Adam. What kind of God here in Islam, what kind of God this God is who creates mankind to misguide them? Clearly, Allah must be Satan because Satan is the one who loves to misguide according to the Bible. What kind of God is this, Muslims? Wake up! And if we go to the Quran, we can read the following. In front of you, you see the Quran from chapter Ibrahim, Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, ayah 4. It says, فَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ the translation is Allah misleads whom he wills and guides whom he wills. So you are nothing but a puppet in the hands of Allah who is the puppeteer, the puppet master. What kind of sick religion is this? Where is your free will in Islam? Allah, if he likes, he will deceive you, he will misguide you. Even if you're a Muslim, if Allah feels to do so, he can decide to remove you from Islam, to remove the faith from your heart as a Muslim because Allah likes so. Where's the free will? Where's the free will, Muslims? Wake up, Muslims. Leave this satanic cult. Come back to Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, who will never do such things to his beloved mankind. The true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did not make us to be puppets in his hand. But Muslims are puppets in the hands of Allah in Islam, as you see in front of you. He can deceive you and he can guide you whenever he wills. What kind of religion is this? Muslims, you need to wake up and come back home. Come back to Jesus Christ. Come back. Because Jesus loves you and he will never deceive you. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button Muslims it's time to think about your fake religion and your fake prophet who created Islam to deceive you and drive you away from your Lord and Savior glory to his name Jesus Christ Thanks for watching and God bless. And more than anything, I do fear one day becoming a non-Muslim. One day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes Iman from my heart and I am a kafir. I fear that so much. I